Good morning, New Zealand. It is Thursday, April the 24th. This is Radio Live, and I am Sean Plunkett with uh, with you till, uh, what, midday today. I take a day off and all hell breaks loose. The world changes. The political world moves on its axis. I want to talk about that and a few other things. But first, I just want to talk a little about my day off. I went to a tangi, to a funeral uh, for a man I didn't know at all well, but uh, I was there to support members of uh, my family who knew his family uh, well. And uh, it was a most interesting experience. This funeral was held at Tipuni Kokiri uh, in Wellington, and it was a fusion, a fusion of uh, what you would call, I guess, a Pakiha or a mainstream funeral and a Maori funeral. And can I just say it was one of the most uh, moving and appropriate and carefully and beautifully conducted ceremonies and coming together of people from different worlds that I have um, ever seen. And um, the music was amazing. There weren't hymns, there wasn't religion, but it was a very moving and interesting day. And I would like to thank all the people that... TPK, and I didn't really talk to any of you, um, the dignity with which you uh, farewelled your colleague and your friend um, was remarkable. So I just wanted to put that out there. It was uh, a really, really interesting and eye-opening day uh, yesterday, the tangi that I, I went to yesterday. All right, let's... I'm Martin Taylor. I've had the privilege of working and walking and talking with Gary for about 10 years. And so when on Friday night I was asked if I could help out today, there was no, no question. It was an honour to be here and a privilege. So, yeah. When I thought about Gary, I thought about team. Gary was the ultimate team man. Whatever the field of endeavour you wanted to be in the same team as Gary. You wanted Gary in your team. He had your back. Be it, and it was a hell of a lot of teams. Running, Harriers, relay teams, numismatics, coaching kids at athletics, at rugby, at cricket laying out the gear every Wednesday night, rain, hail or shine, and then putting it away again afterwards, setting up, being there for his kids, being there for his family, being there for his colleagues, being there for his friends. And he expected nothing in return. As you know, Gary was a man of few words when it came to meetings. You know, the less was the better. He would have finished this meeting by now, and I'm sorry, mate, you're going to have to sit here. <laughs> and you're going to have to hear how much people value you, because he was so self-effacing, he ducked it every time. He also had a healthy disrespect for bureaucracy. <laughs> and I've taken the liberty of just printing off a few excerpts of emails. So he would each day send out uh, who was in and who was out. So 1st of April, absent. All staff who 0900 for those who make it by then. <laughs> All day talk fest from Gap for Gary, 1000 to 1530. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Greg totally gutted he wasn't invited. <laughs> Notes from a meeting the other day that Gary wasn't at and the the notes were written up, amongst other things. Things for us to ponder and do. All performance reviews to be done by end of Feb. Reply, God save us. <laughs> On a contract, have variation approved of, uh, signed off, yay. Now dancing down the valley of death, which is procurement, filling in <laughs> templates I've never seen before. <laughs> to a colleague, tasked with a particular project. Update me if you think I need to know or you think I need to brief someone. Otherwise, just get on with it. <laughs> you have my every sympathy and if there's anything I need to provide, please let me know. 
cyanide capsules or umbrellas with poison tips are difficult, <laughs> but I'm sure I have a Dagestani black widow in my rucksack. <laughs> on important documents posted on the website, here we go, consider yourselves paralysed. <laughs> I once asked Gary for some vi advice by email after a particularly long and fruitless interchange. In my email I said, for your information, sigh, suggestions on proceeding from here. His reply, talking to a post. <laughs> so that was some of the contributions that Gary made that made life so much richer. As we walked around Wellington, we talked about everything from ancient Mesopotamian coins to who ran what lap in the relay and how, what time they did it. And he would, knew it down to the last 36 seconds. I have no idea whether he was reliable or not, but I'm sure he was. <laughs> it was plausible and I wasn't one to question him. We would talk about cricket. He knew everything, I just sort of vaguely followed it, but that didn't matter to Gary. And the other thing was cryptic crosswords. He had an encyclopedic mind and a vocabulary that was colossal. And we would often sit down and just play around with things and get to a certain point and go, nah, not doing it for us. And we'd go away. About 20 minutes later, Gary would come back, oh, boom, 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 boom. So that's by way of framing this part of it for this, our combined team, the rep team. A couple of quick housekeeping things. Please, uh, there's one person taking some photographs the family's asked. Otherwise, please, no photographs. Please make sure you've got your phones turned off. There's toilets through there if you need to. If in, if there is an emergency, we have uh, trained building wardens here. They'll make themselves known and tell us what to do. Beyond that, I'd like to introduce Sam, my fellow uh, guide for this session. And uh, then we'll rock on from there. <laughs>